Hello everyone, Jason Warren, and I've got today's update on the upcoming storm system that's forecast to bring uh, strong winds, heavy snow, and bitterly cold temperatures to portions of the central and eastern United States as we head into the latter portions of this week and into the upcoming holiday weekend. There have been some changes in the models during the past uh, couple of model cycles, uh, primarily to move the surface low a little bit further east and to develop it a little bit later. Uh, and this has some implications for who will see the heaviest snow and when the heaviest snow will occur. The GFS model has been consistent in its depiction of a digging trough across the central plains and into the Mississippi Valley during the day on Thursday with a deep trough extending all the way into the southern plains all the way to the Great Lakes by Thursday night into early Friday. As the Arctic front moves through the western lakes and the Mississippi and lower Ohio valleys a band of heavy snow will accompany the front. It could begin as a brief period of rain, but it would likely be accompanied by a period of heavy snow squalls and strong wind gusts and a very sharp, rapid temperature drop. Temperatures could begin in the mid to upper 30s, possibly even near 40, but then quickly drop to the teens and even single digits behind the front, with strong winds making it feel much colder. Winds behind the Arctic front across portions of the Midwest and Western Great Lakes could gust as high as 60 miles per hour in the wake of this front. Service low pressure will rapidly intensify across the lower Great Lakes Friday morning and be somewhere centered somewhere in, uh, near the uh, Eastern Great Lakes uh, by sunrise on Friday morning with heavy snow wrapping back around the backside of the system across portions of the central and northern Great Lakes and a band of heavy snow showers accompanying the cold front to the south again possibly beginning as a period of rain showers. The system will continue to rapidly deepen during the day on Friday into Friday night uh, with a deep area of low pressure uh, taking shape across the eastern Great Lakes between Lake Erie and Lake Huron across parts of Ontario with very heavy snow on the backside wrapping down into portions of the upper Ohio Valley with our strong cold front continuing off to the east, accompanied by showers, possibly even some thunderstorms across portions of New England, but then quickly changing to snow as the front moves through and temperatures rapidly fall. As we head into Friday evening, the storm will pivot and may actually become stationary for a time across the eastern Great Lakes with low pressure centered somewhere near Lake Huron yeah, it, it may do a bit of a loop here or become stationary for a time as strong jet stream energy rotates down around the back side of the system and underneath it. Uh, this jet stream energy will produce an area of very strong winds that will come southeastward and eastward across southern Michigan, northern Indiana, and northern Ohio uh, during Friday evening and into Friday night. Wind gusts in this area could exceed 65 miles per hour at times Friday evening into Friday night. Blizzard conditions will be possible across a large portion of the Great Lakes and into the upper Ohio Valley, even down into portions of the Appalachians as we head through Friday and into Friday night. Uh, strong winds with blowing and drifting snow will reduce visibility below a quarter of a mile at times. Uh, winds could gust in excess of 60 miles per hour at times and wi uh, wind chills will be minus 10 to minus 20 over a broad area with some areas seeing wind chills below minus 30 at times. Travel across this region is expected to become nearly impossible later Friday into Friday night and travel is not advised uh, through this region uh, from Friday through the weekend. The system will gradually pull out during the day on Saturday, but lake effect snow showers will linger, linger near the lakes uh, through the day on Saturday with heavier snow continuing uh, to the north of the lakes across parts of Ontario and into Quebec. But across the U.S., uh, lake effect snows will gradually diminish uh, as we head through the day on Saturday. As we head through Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day, the system will continue to move northward toward James Bay with just some lingering snow showers continuing to the east of the lakes through Christmas Eve and then continuing to diminish as we head into Christmas Day. There have been some important changes during the past um, 24 hours. Uh, what we're looking at here is the GFS Ensemble which shows the area where uh, the model 
the different runs of the model show where the center of low pressure is expected to be. And this was 24 hours ago where it showed the center was likely to be somewhere over Lake Michigan or the lower peninsula of Michigan. But if we compare that to the past several runs, we can see the system has gradually shifted eastward on each subsequent run. And a low that was expected to be over Michigan at this time yesterday is now forecast to be somewhere over northern Ohio or Lake Erie. So there have been some subtle shifts eastward with the low pressure system, the surface low. And this could have implications on where the uh, heaviest snow falls. There has been a uh, similar trend on the European model, which 24 hours ago showed a low pressure system over uh, southern Lake Michigan and southern lower Michigan uh, with uh, several uh, of the members indicating the low could have been down in Indiana but uh, subsequent runs show the system now is expected to be over northern Ohio or western Lake Erie. This is similar to the GFS so we're building confidence now that, this, that the center of low pressure is likely to track a little further east than what was shown 24 hours ago. However with this continued uh, shifting around of the tracks even this late in the forecast of this system with the system only 72 hours away uh, we still don't want to put any kind of concrete numbers on the snowfall forecast uh, because there could still be shifts even further east or even a shift back to the west and until we get some more consistency run to run with these models we're going to hold off on issuing any kind of um, set in stone forecast for snowfall. Currently this is where we expect the heaviest snow to fall. Without issuing any kind of um, concrete snowfall totals, we can say this is the area most likely to see the heaviest snow that would be snow in excess of a foot. Uh, this includes parts of northern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, much of lower Michigan, and far northern Indiana, especially near Lake Michigan. It also includes areas to the uh, lee of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario where there will be some heavy lake effect snow uh, in the wake of this system. This is based on a storm track that we expect to be from uh, southern uh, Illinois up through Indiana, possibly into northwestern Ohio, and then into southeastern Michigan before the system stalls or uh, makes something of a loop and then continues off to the northeast. A deviation in this storm track to the north or west could change the area of heaviest snow across the central lake, Great Lakes. It could bring it southeastward a bit more or uh, take it northwestward a bit more. A brief period of heavy snow is also expected along the Arctic front all the way from Missouri across uh, this region as the uh, Arctic front moves through and rain quickly changes to snow. Uh, accumulations of one to two possibly even three inches could occur very quickly uh, as the front moves through. Uh, that snow will also be blown around a lot which could produce blizzard like conditions for a time uh, as the front moves through and the winds pick up. In summary we will have very cold temperatures across a large portion of the central and eastern United States with dangerously cold wind chills expected with some areas seeing wind chills below minus 20 for a time. Strong wind gusts could cause power outages Thursday through Friday night across the Great Lakes, Midwest, and Ohio Valley, and especially across lower Michigan, down into northern Indiana and northern Ohio from Friday afternoon into Friday night, where some areas could see wind gusts in excess of 65 miles per hour. Blowing and drifting snow will likely cause blizzard conditions across the Great Lakes, as well as parts of the Midwest and Ohio Valley through the weekend. Precise snowfall totals remain uncertain because we're still seeing some shifts in the models. However, some locations could pick up over a foot of snow. Be sure to continue to monitor uh, the latest updates here on our page. Uh, we'll continue to post new updates as new model information becomes available.